All right, so we're here in Walmart, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I got my product, Beyond Braid, into Walmart stores. It's been four and a half years since I've had this business, and we just got into Walmart, so we're gonna do kind of like a first reaction of like seeing my product in Walmart stores, which is pretty cool, and then explain to you how you actually get your product in Walmart. I genuinely hope that the product's here, because we just drove like 30 minutes, and I don't even know if it's here. I think it's here, so we'll see. All right. Where's the sports aisle? Yeah, do you, what do you want? What are you looking for? I just want to go see a product. All right, we're still learning. We got, we got the rookie Denver on, on the sticks. We're trying to avoid employees so people don't look at us. How did I get my product in uh, Walmart? So it's a fishing product. You would think they don't even sell fishing items in Walmart. I didn't even know they sold fishing items in Walmart until a couple of years ago. And then the long story short is you have to have really good marketing. You have to sell a shitload of product for Walmart to even consider you. That was our whole pitch to Walmart was that we have the best marketing for fishing line. We have 300,000 followers on all the platforms. So if you get us in our stores, we'll move product. So that was my big pitch to them. Let's see, we gotta go to the fishing aisle. Oh no. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Did they already sell out? That's wild. Damn. Wait, did this already sell? Did it mean it's, they sold? They had to have sold out already. There's nothing on the pegs. Look, this is Beyond Braid, and that's Beyond Braid. What? That's wild. Damn, my heart's racing right now. Isn't that cool? So, like, like this is the product, right? Uh, basically what we did, Denver's taking a story. So basically what we did is we took a generic color line that we had, or a regular color line that we had, and we made this for Walmart to bring the pr uh, price point down. So they basically want 300 yards of just a single color to appeal, right? They're selling it for $15.98. So I think I'm gonna have to buy this, right? Or should I just buy it all? No, I'll buy one. That's wild. How to make it look good on the peg. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. How we got our product into Walmart was you have to basically reach out to the buyer of your category. So we found the buyer of our category for sports and outdoors, fishing. And basically what we did was you have to try and schedule some sort of meeting with them. Um, it's basically like a cold email process, but for them, again, for them to even consider you, you have to have some sort of um, large presence, whether it's through sales volume, whether it's through social media, whether it's through Amazon sales. Like we were number two on Amazon for braided fishing line, so that's something they looked at. And you eventually schedule a meeting with the buyer. You get their attention, they're like, yeah, our product line review's coming up for the year. They usually do it in the beginning of 2020. They do it at the beginning of the year. And we had to fly from Miami all the way to Bentonville. So I had to take two flights. It was like $1,500 in flights to do a 30 minute meeting. And essentially, right, it was a big expense. It was like $2,000 trip all in to literally do a 30 minute meeting. Like our meeting started at 10 a.m. with the buyer and at 10, 29 like he said okay that's it and basically i put together a pitch deck of why our product is special how much we've done in sales how we advertise our product how we plan to advertise our product in walmart so i was basically saying like look we already sell on walmart.com we could run facebook ads geo-targeting the stores you put in and we basically went in there and asked for the business so we said hey we don't want to be in all your stores because we know that's unrealistic for a new product, 10,000 stores. Give us a thousand stores. Give us the Southeast, right? Florida, Georgia. So we basically pitched to them what would work well for us. And that's what we did. We did the meeting. Basically three months went by. We didn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden we got an email saying, hey, congrats, you've been accepted. You'll hear from us soon. I started this product five years ago from my bedroom. And now we're in the biggest retailer in the world selling the product and clearly it's sold because they had two pegs and it was sold out. So clearly people know the name, they recognize it, they see all the other brands and they're like, nah, we gonna get Beyond Braid. So if you guys wanna learn to start your very own business, go watch this video right here where I teach you how to start your very own private label brand. It's right here. If you wanna see more stuff on e-commerce, 
I don't know, selling products and shit like that, subscribe to my channel. I talk about it all the time. Now I'm gonna go buy some more stuff at Walmart.